Welcome back to Abris, everyone. Shirley here. And today we're going to take a look at the Forgotten Experiments on Mythic Mode. Uh, we're going to go ahead and rip all of our cooldowns on the pull here as an arms warrior. Most classes are going to be saving their CDs for Bloodlust and the second boss when he comes down. But as an arms warrior, our stuff is up quick enough. And because it's going to line up again with Execute Phase during Bloodlust to help finish off Neldris here very quickly, that we're going to go ahead and rip everything on the pole here. As well as, I'm going to be using Thunderous Roar immediately rather than waiting for a Test of Might buff, and that's just to make sure that it's back up immediately once again for the second boss once he comes down. And as the first couple of mechanics come out here, the rending charge we're taking off to the left side by these markers here and just making sure you're not in front of the boss when he charges out. It's just like um, Stone Legions back in uh, Nathrius, if you did that. As well as his big uh, rending roar here. Uh, this is based on drop-off damage, so we're just going to get a max melee range and throw up a spell reflect for each one of these, and you can basically face tank them, especially during the first portion of the fight here. There's not a whole lot going on for the healers, so it's not a huge deal, but just don't be inside his hitbox or anything. So we're just going to max out here, pop our spell reflect, and the second boss comes down at 50%, and we're going to immediately bloodlust here. I'm going to throw up sweeping strikes. By the way, I'm playing the standard single target build, except I'm running improved sweeping strikes talent with it and uh once he does his little charge we're gonna get back on Neldris here pop our potion here we didn't use it on the pole we're waiting for the bloodlust phase and now during uh this lost smash window i'm just gonna be spamming execute as much as i can and that's for two reasons one because i want a really big test of might buff for the thunderous roar so as soon as avatar and thunderous roar come back we're gonna immediately throw those on both targets and two, because it's going to reset our Colossus Smash window as fast as possible. So once our Sweeping Strikes comes back up, we can immediately throw it again on both targets and, you know, start going into our standard Execute Phase rotation on these two guys. Um, also, when he charges out there, we're just going to quickly swap targets to uh, Thadrian here and make sure we're just hitting something rather than chasing around the guy charging, even though he's in Execute Phase. And as we move on, the third boss comes down once Chadrian hits 50%. We're just going to be, you know, following this guy like glue right now just because we're hitting Execute Phase once again. And we're just cycling Sweeping Strikes on cooldown here. There's not too much to think about. You could maybe try and line it up better with uh, Execute Phases. But to be frank, it worked pretty well for me just cycling it as it came up. So, you know, don't worry about it too much. Uh, as the first couple of the spells go down here, the little adds that are coming out, we're just going to passively cleave those because we get plenty of, you know, passive time with improved cleaving strikes up to uh, hit them with the Dreadnought lines and execute phase and all that jazz. But um, we're just going to try to line up our Colossus Smash when we can, when it's, you know, within like five seconds of the Sweeping Strikes window on both bosses. So I think it is worth delaying the, the Colossus Smash a tiny bit there just to make sure that you can clip both. And, you know, uh, try not to line it up when he's going to be breathing here. So right here, I'm holding all my cooldowns because I, I know he's going to be doing his deep breath soon here. So we're just banking up these CDs, getting out of the middle there, and then we're sitting on the side here making sure that he's going to breathe on that far side rather than the, the big clump of players in the middle. And we're going to immediately pop our dispels there in the middle, and uh, this is where we're going to burn our cooldowns. Normally I would wait to get a big test of might here for the Thunder Shore, but there was still a ton of adds up. And if you see an opportunity like that, go ahead and just throw out the Thunder Shore and clip as many of those as you can for the value of it. And it's not a big deal if you're wasting one global during that uh, Colossus Smash window to uh, put up that bleed anyway. And as we get the boss down here to 50%, trying to avoid these disintegrate circles that go out randomly around players as best as we can. Sometimes you get unlucky and there's a ton in melee, but, you know, it's not the end of the world. The big danger here is these soccer balls, the um, time <laughs> bubble things that are floating around the room there. We're going to be keeping an eye on those and kicking them away from the boss as much as we can. You do have to be careful about uh, what direction you're going into the ball because you can't just kick them willy-nilly into the boss. And avoiding the breath there, baiting off to the side, making sure that he breathes on the side once again before the dispels go out so we're not greeting into the middle to attack all those. And, you know, he would breathe over the middle if we did do that. And as he comes back down, luckily he didn't land, you know, next to a bunch of orbs like can happen sometimes. So uh, we're, we're playing pretty good here on defense to keep him 
away from these and just slowly kiting them around the room during our last execute phase here. You can eat two of the soccer balls, but you definitely want to pop, you know, parry and spell reflect and stuff if you're going to do that because they do hurt at two stacks, but it is doable. Uh, we get one dangerously close there as we get him down to 1%, but luckily he goes down right before the last deep breath. 125k, pretty good. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer. I'll see you real soon in the next one, and uh, good luck on your kills. Peace.